globalization is of course a very broad concept. I think it can be useful to unpack it. Um, with, you know, I think of globalization as uh, trade flows, tourism flows across countries, financial flows across countries, flows of knowledge, uh, of communication. And I think there are definitely areas where at least over the next couple of years, globalization will, will go down. Uh, and I think until we have a vaccine and a medical breakthrough, I think it's very reasonable to expect that the level of international travel will remain below the pre-virus level. And so that component of, of globalization is likely to, 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 to be weaker. Now, in terms of uh, technology flows, trade flows, financial flows, it's a, it's a, little, a little less clear. And diversification of supply chains in terms of trade does not necessarily mean that global trade volumes are going to go down. It could just mean that countries reorganize their flows, that new regional blocks uh, emerge. Um, and that, for instance, countries that I talked about earlier, like, like for instance, Vietnam or Bangladesh, could potentially see, uh, see a pickup. Um, but some decoupling um, and some diversification in terms of the US-China relationship um, seems, seems, seems quite possible.